It's the Blend Show right here on GoGoRadio.com. It's your man, DJ D Money. For your listening pleasures, man, giving you some of that classic. classic. Some of the classics, son. Yeah. This, you don't know nothing about this okay. before before you First even knew about that backyard. I was there when they recorded this live. You, 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 wasn't, you wasn't even around and, uptown when we was doing this. And, and I was banned from being on the side of the stage <laughs> because I would yell so much we'd be on the CD. And they was like, please stop. You can't, you know, you can't get inside. <laughs> I want to say this, though. What's that? Just real talk. I think the Wizards might be the first 0 and 82 team in the history of basketball. I, I'm really, I, no, it is a legitimate shot for us to go 0 and 82. It, this Son, is realistic. They're going to win one game. They play McKinley. I'll tell you what, you, you being funny, Roosevelt. <laughs> you being funny, Roosevelt. The Wizards might go 0 and 82. Like, like, and for real, if I'm Nene or John Wall, will you come back? Why would I, I come put back? that question out there last week? Oh, that's right. You never came back. But well, we put that question out last week. If you're John Wall or Nene, do you even come back? Oh, and 82. Wow. <laughs> we're like the Harlem Grochilders of the NBA basketball, <laughs> y'all, like for real. No, I they were. They, they, they won 90% of their games. Oh, we're like the Washington Generals. The Generals. I'm sorry. Yeah. Shout, shout out to Roy Hibbert, George Shannon in the building. Let me say this, though. <laughs> I'm beginning to think that the Wizards are, I'm beginning to think that, that the Wizards and the Redskins are cursed in some ways. Right. And I have been told this by some people, you know what I mean? Like, people think because of Abe Poland, how cheap he was and how hot he went, that it could be the curse. And people feel the way that Dan Snyder treat people, that we might be cursed. Anyway, in the building right now, and this guy can definitely, he can de- both of these guys can talk about it, but we got a man up in here who has been celebrating a birthday. He has been literally having a uh, birthday weekly extravaganza. A monthly. Monthly. and, 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 and <laughs> His birthday bent over. And it, it looks like from his gear, he's enjoying the fruits of his labor. Uh, he's definitely color coordinated. <laughs> and the bit of the night, we got my main man, Hook, from the BYB. Hook, how you doing, sir? I'm all right. How you doing? Now, now, you, now you good? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You. I'm all right, man. How you doing? Doing great. Well, first of all. Welcome. Welcome. You know what I mean? This is your first time. Welcome. You no, know, because it's not easy to get back y'all people inside the blend. Why do you say that? Uh, probably because you guys work so much. And you're probably too busy uh, uh, spending and counting your money that you make during the week. You know what I mean? Because we here, Mondays is packed. We we know Wednesdays is packed at, at, at the Layla. We know about... Uh, Fridays. Yeah, Fridays. We, we, so, the scene on Saturday. And Lord, we ain't going to talk about the scene. It's not even a conversation. The scene is not even, at this point, it's not even to be debated. You know what I mean? That's not even a conversation. But I want to say this first. Happy birthday, man. Thank you, family. Uh, did, you do, did, did you do anything special? Anything? Hey, we can. Hey, Hook, make sure you... you you grab the mic. There you go. I got you. There you go. Did you do anything special for your birthday? Uh, everything special. Really? Respect. I can, I, I can definitely dig that. Everything special. I, I can dig that. Got to cherish the moment out here. Man. Absolutely. I, absolutely. How has it been go, c- coming back? I mean, obviously, you know, um, this is home. Obviously, it's home. You know what I mean? And uh, just for you, how, how has it been to come back and just to come home and be embraced as if you never left from your family, truthfully. And you better not cry even, so you know what I mean. Because if you cry, Coop going to take the mic. You feel good, man. You feel real good. I can see it in your eyes, man. Yeah, you feel good, man. Yeah, yeah. It's As, a blessing. Some people don't return back from where I've been. Yeah. So it's a blessing. I'm thankful. And like I say, every day is a blessing. Uh-huh. So a birthday... Everything's special. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, man. You about to, man. Anyway. <laughs> this man. He's about to get me, man. He, 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 I'm trying not to look at him. He's trying not to look at me. We ain't going to talk about it. Anyway, so how has this been, this this this, this new ride for back, y'all? Like, you know what I mean? Like, obviously, you just you just right back in it. What is your favorite place to play at? I mean, obviously, all of them are packed, so you know what I mean? But but for you, what is the what is the place you get the most enjoyment out of? Just getting in and, and getting it right in there. I'm gonna say the scene. I knew that. Why? Because it was amazing to see all them people, man, and to see my mom, you know, do their thing, and it's, I enjoy the moment, the atmosphere. Yeah. Okay. All right, so Nico's gonna go finish talking because you about to get me emotional, man. I'm not talking more than that. <laughs> He about to get me, man. We, we about to go there, man. I'm not. And nigga. Anyways, you know, he's a little, yeah. So we're going to leave it at that. But um, 
with celebrating your birthday, like we know that it's special and everything. Is there th- anything that you did like outside of of the club, shall I say, like a dinner or anything? Strip that... club. Well, I, 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 Shut up. I did the good. Uh, what's the name of that place? Morton's. 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 Oh. I did Morton's. Morton's. I did the Wizards opening. Are Make you? sure they lost. Oh yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and. Uh, I'm still celebrating. I celebrated uh, yesterday. I went to the Redskins game. That was an awesome. How about that? That's what's up. Awesome. Shout out to Wincy. Oh, yeah. Shout out to Wincy and, and Tony Reds. I saw the Instagram picture. So, you know what I mean? You, you guys did good uh, frying turkey, but we made y'all look like a turkey after that game. Yes, we did. How about that? Yes, we did. Yeah. Yeah. So, what are your plans for Thanksgiving next week? Or this week? Yeah, this week. It uh, is Monday. Uh, Sheesh, yeah. time's flying. Yeah, yeah. Of course, I'm going I'm to do my mom. You going by the Griffins? Huh? You going by the Griffins? No, I don't need no Griffins. Shout out to Billy. You talking about Billy? Oh, Billy and Sean House. No, I'm not doing that. I'm doing. Why not? I'm doing my brother house. I mean, I thought you were going to do both. Huh? Yeah. I mean, people house hop on Thanksgiving. Maybe yeah. I'm the only you one. You house. <laughs> well, first and foremost, I'm you know you got to eat moms first. Yeah. Of course, of course. First moms and first, then your lady second. Then <laughs> you're gonna do the uh. Cowboys, we're gonna turkey the Cowboys. Uh, <laughs> that's what I'm talking get about. Together. Hello, four o'clock. So that's what it's gonna be. Anything right. after that, you know, we're gonna check it to Murray Goes that night. So absolutely. And, and, and I also heard that Murray Goes is gonna be a All Star. It's gonna literally be an All Star, John. It's gonna be an All Star. Yeah. Get the guy. So 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 the Thursday be like the end of your celebration, or you just gonna bang it the whole one out? I'm going to New Year's. <laughs> <laughs> See what I was talking about. <laughs> Why not? I'm going to go to New Year's, man. Why that? Wow. I'm thinking about going all the way to the next one. <laughs> what? You know what? You look so serious when you say that, too, though. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so first of all, and, and, and we got Big Papa Coop in here, and it, 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 and it is so right. So he basically said, and which is true, that we should introduce everybody, or I'm sorry, reintroduce or re-familiarize, is that a word? Yes. Okay, I'm doing good. Familiarize. I'm doing good, I'm doing good. Pronunciate. Yeah, enunciate. Pronounce. Not pronounce. I got uh, you on that. What's pronunciate? Hey, enunciate is, is the correct word. Can you stay focused right now? Okay, I'm sorry. But <laughs> Thank you, sir. But this is how you think going on in here. But, you know, we're going to reintroduce everybody. So, first of all, he is literally the original cowbell player for Backyard, literally in the heyday. Now, the interesting thing about Hook that people don't realize is that he had been in the band for so long that people used to think him and Ging were, were twins. Or, or at least brothers, though, right? We are brothers. Literally, but, but you, yeah, that's true. That, but I remember back back in the day in the 90s when you were playing, people couldn't even tell y'all apart. You know what I mean? It was almost like, right. you know, two, two, two tall guys or whatever. Tell them what he did. Tell them what, they did, what he did. Oh, he what played, was his position? His, Let his, them know. His position in, um, first of all, his position in backyard was, was the cowbell player. But I want to say one of the realest things I ever seen in my life. I've talked to Coop a- about this. Was backyard they put Gang on suspension for like a couple of days or whatever. You know what I mean? And uh, backyard played at Baloo, and and Brown was talking. And Hook was like, "We love you on the, on the Joe. We love you, Big G. We miss you, Big G. Like you know what I mean? Like and that that was the bond that he had. And that's the one thing I think that people don't realize about backyard is they almost like a gang. You know what I mean? It's it's more than just a group of people that come together and play some music. It's like a real brotherhood. It's almost like a, a fraternity. But this is the original Cowboy player, and, and, and he has been in the building. And we're happy that he's back in the building because he's celebrating his birthday straight up and down. Um, I, I like to uh, this, chime in. This coop interject and this coop speaking. Um, just a little bit of history for the people that don't know. Uh, for the people that been back in the day with us for, for since since the band started, you know, uh, it was it was it was pretty much you know G and Hook that made the brand name back uh, You know what I'm saying? Um, they were already together, and uh, pretty much G was back and forth. And Hook, I I I, I credit Hook for all the people that love me. For doing what I do, it's because of Hook. You know, really? they they put me in the band. Yeah, so it's it's so for the people that say Coop, you 
you did this, you did that, and, you know, I didn't never know where this was going to lead us. But I came to them. They were playing on homie place, and, and I told them a few things that I could help them out a little bit, and they decided, you know, because before I was there, this lady was helping them out named Gwen. And uh, so I just went to, I said, well, I want to help Gwen out. Um, and they saw my hustle, you know what I'm saying? And hook, one day, I, it's like like it ain't no, Gwen didn't show up one one show. And I was just helping them out. And Hook said, Coop, go up there and get the money. I was like, damn, <laughs> who, who am I to go up there and get the money? Right. I go up there and get the money, Gwen pull in. So I'm about to get out the chair. Just at the time when the money comes. Yeah, just, well, Gwen pull up. I'm about to get out the chair and let Gwen do her thing. Hook say, nah, Gwen Coop managing us now. And that was the defining moment. I sat back down. And uh, after I, you know. Been back out ever since. That's just, just yeah. He just, I, he, he gave me my job. Even though I was. You know, working, I was managing CVS and, I mean, people's drugs. I gave him a job then. <laughs> oh, I remember that. You gave everybody the band a job. I gave everybody a job. But for just, you know, um, them believing in me, you know what I'm saying, um, this is where I'm at, that's where I'm at now because Hook said, you know, Coop. Let's go. You in charge now. Yeah. I say, big man, okay. Let's go. How's it been having a back, man? Because it's almost, like, it's, it's, it's almost it's, like he's never left. It was emotional because when he first got back, we were all, he didn't know. It was me, G, Sauce, and Bug. Um, uh, he got a ride. His ride was, he was trying to he was trying to surprise him at Jasper's, but he didn't, he wasn't really hungry at the time. <laughs> he was like, what's Jag, you know? So his ride kept trying to get him to come to Jasper's, and we were sitting in the cut, and when we saw him, man, it was, it was it was it was uh, real emotional, you know what I'm saying? Not to see him, and I always tell people that story um, when I do any interview, you know, about when me and him went out Evans Grill one night and see Northeast Grooves, and we ain't really we was just trying to see the Merlin bands. Let's go out there and see the Merlin bands, right? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we ain't know, we ain't know. So this one this one day, I I I remember that Hook was definitely. Definitely real, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I, I I really didn't know them all that well, but this this defining moment right here was like we sitting in the back. First it was Epitome, and we ain't know who they were, so they it was you know like who that band was Epitome. But when we first when Northeast first came back on, Kirk was rapping. They got the plan. Me and Hook trying to be cool in the back. Hook, hook, look at me, say, man, I don't know about you, but they got that beat right in my soul. <laughs> he say, he say, I can't, he say, I can't, man, I can't help it, man. They crazy, so, man, we laughed about that all the time, man. But then the dudes got the dancing all real, all around us, real, you know. Yeah. So we backed up, you, you know. Want to take rough it off, yeah. Game. We some, we some, we some uptown dudes, right? Yeah, what Hook say? Oh, we good. I said, how we good? Got my men's and them with me. I said, "Oh, let's get out of here for real." We don't want to have. We don't want to have. Let's get wow. out of here for real, man. But love this man, man. You know, it's 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 some. You know, we all have our ups and downs, man. But you know, at the end of the day, man. You know, we we were born. You know, God Literally. had that path. Yeah. You know, whether it, you it believe almost- it, yeah, whether you believe in God or not, He had that path that brought. Me to them and or them to me, you know what I'm saying? Because I woke up one one morning. It was a block party at the end of the block. I'm on Prairie Place. They was on Home Eat. Tink, tink, cans. And I was like, man, something cranking. Let me go down here. And I just see them. And they was cranking so hard. I was like, man, how can I help? I was like, well, that's the manager over there. I started talking to her right. and just bringing in. I gave him the first drum set, Rondell. I was like, man, look, I got a drum set down my basement. Young Impressions? Rondell. Yeah. Yeah. I said, I said, dog, I got a drum set. But before him was Midget and uh, 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 Butch. and uh, Billy. You know what I'm saying? Like, those guys, everybody was one block away from each other. You know what I'm saying? Taiwan, you know what I'm saying? Jeff. It, it was just, 
it, it was a it was a straight I mean a straight up town block yeah. like within a within a a, 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 a a two mile radius pretty much you know what I'm saying and to to have that that jail like that it was like yeah it was it was something special yeah 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 but uh, you know be feel free to ask hook you know it's great, the greatest hits show this Wednesday yes oh, it's going down uh, and love and all of the old hits hook used to be a part of and yeah and yeah it's it's going down so so please tell us this first of all it's going down live broadcast right yep four flats in despair uh backyard greatest hits so please explain us when we say when we say greatest hits what does that mean for greatest hits I lose the audience if I can tell you the greatest hits. So you just go. So to me, greatest hits is Heavy D. Yeah. Heavy D, something that new like, you know, understand. Or remember, maybe. Treat like a prostitute. You probably got with a brass monkey. Yeah, they, they hit the brass monkey. Uh, and Popeye's chicken. She's bad. Take that dip. Yep. So so we getting all that. So we get we getting all that. <laughs> what's your favorite? What's your favorite old school joke? Like obviously there's so many. What's the one that, that, that gets you moving every time you hear? It? Uh oh. Well. That's a hard question right there. Well, just give me your top five then. So you so or, or your top three. Or oh, right now to. Yeah. Well, my number one, my, my, my top five, you got Skillet. Oh, wow. You got Dip, Baby Dip. Rock the Boat. Yeah, that's what they call it. Now, Hook Me Up. Oh, no pun intended. Maybe uh-huh. because your name is, is in it. My, my, my favorite joke from him is he used to start it all. What you used to start on? Oh, I remember. 93 Dope Jam? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, that was. Definitely yeah. know that. What, what, what has been your favorite show that you ever played with with Backyard? You know what I mean? Like the favorite show, like just a show that whenever you think about, it still put a smile on your face because you knew the guy was just just killing it. What, what has been your favorite show? I'll tell you one of these shows, man. It's always popping my mind. And I was so excited. <laughs> I'm saying we all met up at Coop House. You know what I'm saying? Coop went to the limousine. <laughs> we fake it, boy. We, 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 we sitting in the Coop House till Coop take uh listen man. The limousine is for the front line. <laughs> only the, only the front line. So at the time the front line was consist of me, G. And Lopes. That's it. Oh, wow. So it's bad as <laughs> we uh we we think we doing something super big. Yeah. So Coop gave us instructions. To say y'all uh, listen, I'm gonna pull up beside the stage in the limousine, but don't get out. <laughs> it was all in the skit box. Right? So uh we sitting in the limousine, me Lopes and gang sitting there looking around. <laughs> so we get bored. So we got you know the top of the limousine come on. So we uh. We had to bring the women on. We got all the women up in here. <laughs> women sticking out the roof and stuff like that. So um, we, we, we sliced up. We, can, we can't wait. So the band up on the stage was all in the act. So we had a little midget up there. I forgot his name, man. He was fake selling out. Yeah. <laughs> right? So uh, we went up there, man, and um, stuck him up. We was about to hit all guns. Yeah. The name of the yeah, guns, yeah. Right? So we come out with that, and man, we was cranking. Was Where was Park, right? Huh? Where, Where was, was Park? Yeah. We cranking with tears, man. Wow. Ninety three. We crank, we crank so hard that day, I had tears in my eyes. I said, ain't no way whoever come out here and play today, they ain't getting in our business. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's how I felt. Yeah. So normally we will roll out after we finish playing and. <laughs> You know, that was our thing. Uptown, we wasn't cocky, but we wasn't interested in nothing. And we had a mission. Yeah. So Get in and get out. You know, we had we had two bands that we looked it up to back then. You know, because we already, uh, had, it was a thing with the upcoming bands and Big Butch. He done robbed us because he got in his feelings with cool, some way down the line. 
and gave it to Northeast Groovers. So we already had a chip on our shoulder with them. <laughs> so, you know, and uh, so they was playing next. So we stayed. So we goes down there and listen to these guys, man. <laughs> All I remember, man, you know, they got to playing some music. Like some rocky stuff, right? They just playing some music. And I hear somebody on the on the on the thing like they 15 minutes away, five minutes away. Next thing I know, I see a helicopter, man, right? Yeah. You like? So I said, "What the fuck is this?" <laughs> so I see the helicopter stand right there. I'm saying, "What's going on?" And, it, and and I'm looking at it, and I just see the whole crowd, you know, waving up. Waving up at the at the helicopter, right as it's landing, and man, I'm just looking at this stuff. I'm like, I don't believe this. Shit. <laughs> as it's landing, man, if you're not a tree, boy, yeah. <laughs> these dudes get up off that thing, man, with sunshine and juice. <laughs> I'm so in my feelings right now, man. I'm like, oh my God, yo. And that moment right there, man, made me respect them. Made me really respect them and how they went out their way and did that helicopter thing. Creative, man. Yeah. Weird, man. To that, put on that, the show. That, that basically blew my mind. Because I was, like I say, man. I, you, you, you was on a high. I was already on a high that we did so good. Yeah. Tell them, we did the limousine. Tell them about the high Lapina. And when we cranked that, uh, uh, take a look around the first time we hit that, right? Okay, yeah. So we knew no way junk going to come in here. Oh, that's another one, man. Tell about that night. We get up there, man. <laughs> now, the Lapina. Which is home base for y'all. This home base. I'm talking Literally about, in your neighborhood. Literally home base, man. This was basically, I got the Lapina from Thorna. I went to school right. across the street from the Lapina, and I threw a bottle don't get this wrong, at a female plant, and it busted in front of the Lapina. And the manager, the owner of... Uh, Church came outside and told me I had to clean it up. So when I went downstairs and I seen the space in there, and I seen the stage, and I asked him, I said, "Man, how, how come my band playing here?" He said, "You have, you got a band?" I said, "Yeah, I got a band." Because I was young, he said, "Well, who your manager? Can you get your manager to call me? We can work something out." Wow. So um, that's how the Lapina happened. Yeah. So I say, um, "All right." So he gave me his number. So I went and took the number to uh, Coop. And he gave us a good price. And we started yeah. doing a little peanut like that. But we got a junkyard in there. Now, the peanut mostly uptown. All day. They follow us anywhere we go. Those was the original fans. Like, we could tell them, don't dance the junkyard. And they wouldn't do and it. They, wouldn't they, dance. Won't, they won't dance. Okay. But <laughs> this day. <laughs> so you thought. We get something in there. And it's like, of course, they going crazy. They dancing, whatever. And it was nice packed in there. Make a long story short, it's just like when Junkyard got up there, <laughs> it just sounded crispy. But I'm like, oh. something sound different. Something sounds The bass drum. The bass boom, boom, you hear it in your heart. We just knew, we just... Matter of fact, we walked out the Lapina yeah. thinking people going to walk out with us. Don't people stay? <laughs> they say, hold up. <laughs> we coming, yeah. we coming. Hold on, we hold coming. on, we coming. Hold yeah. on. Wait one minute. Right so, back. We, so I see G and Hook come back in the Lapina like, yeah, man. man, what's up? Man, they hit the bass drum. It's a heavy one. Boom, boom, boom. I said, oh, my God. And you know, heavy one, he had a little mini cowbell on oh. the high hat. Oh, yeah. man. And they came out with, I'm in the mood. Man. Now nah, I thought it was enjoy yourself. Oh yeah, that's what it was. Yeah. That's, that's gonna say enjoy yourself the harmony. Oh my god, we yeah. say I say I say to myself, we got a long way to go. We going in practice tomorrow. <laughs> we got a long way to go. I'm not playing with y'all. We gonna be in practice. Tell them about how we practice, huh? Practice hard, man. Hard. I mean, I remember man, I'm gonna take you back further than that. We was playing at the Safari Club. That was our big well, Junkyard, right? We, we, we looked it up at Junkyard. Yeah, yeah. Right, so. Shout out to Bugs they and JY. Us, they let us open up for them in the uh, Safari Club. This only had 
one vehicle, coupe car. Coupe and tell them what type of car, Hyundai, though. Hyundai. Yeah, uh, <laughs> two door joint, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's four door, but no, it was it's small. a small. Yeah, it's a small, so that's how we moved. Equipment and everything, so Cooper had to make three, four trips with the equipment. The band. Some some, some, some people band. walk down there, though. Wow. Right. So that's how we was moving. And this is at the time we wasn't getting paid. Yeah. So it wasn't about no money. It was the love for it, right? Yeah. We was building. And um, we practiced so hard, man. If we make a mistake, go do it over. Do it over. So we was perfect. Yeah. We get down there. Of course, we open up a junkyard. So people standing around looking at us like, who is these guys? Back guy, oh, back guy. They trying to be like junkyard. <laughs> yeah. So we got all that. We get up there, crank hard, man. Crank hard. Nobody thinks. Nobody. Nobody even moves. Not a buzz. You don't even know that feeling, right? Like. It's a feeling that. There's nothing you know. can do. <laughs> we had our best right now. It ain't nobody. Ain't nobody. Yeah. <laughs> like, what's wrong with you? After all that hard practice. Hard practice, man. Dedication, man. It's like, damn. What the hell? And we practiced for two hours. It That's enough no... for real to knock your confidence off, make you just say, you know what I'm saying? This ain't going to work, even though you ain't getting paid. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We got to go to school tomorrow, yeah. out late. And man, we just kept on. So I remember that. Man. You know what I'm saying? And like today. It makes, today, it, makes it all work. I'm just saying, I'm junkyard, man. We looked it up to these guys, right? Asses. It wasn't even in the thought process to even think about compete with these guys. Yeah. That's just, that's the respect that we have. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And it's like everybody else, all the other fans was out here. As as we coming up, we ain't armed with them. We knew we had a soccer that nobody could get with. You know what I'm saying? And, man, I look, I think back sometimes, right? Even the day I go out and I see the band, to me, the fans may think they cranking, but I, I recognize everything. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Some of that stuff don't crank to me. You know what I'm saying? But right. Just to see where backyard stand today. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Where backyard stand today it is what it is. Whoever got the opinion or not. Who can get in the business? Who can get in BYB business right now? Nobody. Hey, on that note right there, we're going to take a slight break. We'll be back. Yep. With these legends in the building, man. It's the Blend Show right here on GoGoRadio.com.